Hi all, here we have an update for the Junkers JU52 as you can see I've been trying to uh, camouflage uh, it's not gone particularly well I'm not too happy with it because due to the overspray I managed to get some curved tape which I'm going to use now just manipulate, make some shapes with it and then I'm going to respray it again um, some of it don't look too bad but um, only problem is, is the uh, is a slight overspray in places so I'm going to respray again and hopefully get it right this time but that is how it looks at the moment now the wings I have done the wings as well these don't look too bad I did take a little bit more time I think I just got a little bit tired with the uh, fuselage of the body so that don't look too bad at all there's very little always bear with that it is just a matter of uh, me being a little bit more patient with the airbrush you see that it's splattered a little bit oh, you can actually see there you go yeah so I'm gonna have to redo that little bit again but uh, you can see all the three colours here the dark green, the lighter green and then the sand so that to me is acceptable I've got to do the underneath which is all blue with, with some white here um, once I've got that done I'll video that and uh, then we can get this body back together the, those are the tails or the tail wings um there I'm quite happy with them it's a little bit of um overspray here uh that one does look better to me it blends in more than that one so I'll have to redo this one I think but other than that that is that for now okay so a further update on the painting now I have done the body again the fuselage and I'm much much happier with how this has turned out now I eliminated the vast majority of the overspray um, unfortunately I couldn't get it perfect so I think it's just a massive practice basically and getting the consistency of the paint right maybe with the thinners I mean the yellow was a little bit more awkward than the other colours um, I, mean, I could just touch it up a little bit here and there but it's never going to be perfect I don't think but anyway I'm happy with it so then I started on the wings and that's the underside of the wing I've actually taped it all off um, I have done all the wings as you can see here it's still managed to get in here in that area but I can apply a bit of uh, paint with the brush with that a little bit here as well um, I did use low pressure on it as best as possible but it sounded quite good I did do too much here I shouldn't have done this part here that's got to be white um, that's why I've not done it on that one but um, it's looking pretty good um, as for the tail wings they've done quite good as well obviously a bit of touching up here to do uh, yep there you can see it on the edge and here you can see it ran a little bit I don't know how I've managed to do that but unfortunately I can touch that up with a brush um, I just have to thin it and uh, touch it up that way um, I don't need to get the uh, airbrush out on that again but it'll be fine once it's finished so overall I'm pretty chuffed with that I have to do the underside of the fuselage yet um, but I've had an offer today but that is the update thanks for watching I all thought I'd give you an update on the Junkers JU52 this is after the uh, brushing I've got the camouflage on uh, there's three different coats the sand, the black green and the dark green um, it's gone quite well I believe it's 
flip it over down the undercarriage as well white wing tips and the blue well, looking pretty good I've got a little bit of touching up here to do uh, to do here and there but I'm loving the detail of this plane there you can see all on the paneling Well, it's a hell of a lot better than uh, when I first did it. That's far too much overspray. So I basically adjusted the pressure on the airbrush and practiced a little. Hi all, here we have the Yonkers J52, the paint job is complete, finally, um, I'm pretty chuffed with the way it's, uh, it's turned out, let's get some close ups, a lot of uh, fiddly little bits to add, but it's turned out alright. Oh, I think it has anyway. I brushed the uh, wings and the fuselage, um, hand brushed virtually everything else. Um, I think it's, uh, I think it's come out all right in the end. Um, obviously, the camouflage, I redid that basically because um, I had to, pref well, I had to practice a little bit more with the airbrush. It's only the second model I've done with an airbrush, um, so I'm quite pleased with it. Um, all I've got left to do now is the uh, the paratroopers, which I thought were uh, pilot, co-pilot, navigator, and, and gunner position, but they're not. They actually they are actually larger scale than I expect them to be. Um, that's one of the guys, and the little one. Um, he is rather too big for the plane, he won't sit in the plane. Well, if he did, well, you could actually sit him in, but I suppose you won't allow him to sit right in. But he looks too big, he's just not the right scale. Now, the door's off here, I've just got to put that on. I'm contemplating whether to put the door on and, and the ladder. Um, but as you can see this guy's in a sitting position and he does I've already tried to put him inside when um, had the fuselage all open but uh, they just look too big <laughs> but anyway they're just an added bonus I suppose um, I hope welcome to John's model making welcome to my hobby room today I've finished Ravel's Junkers JU52 there it is a little beauty say a little it's a 148 scale it did come with four paratroopers i put all the decals on today and yesterday and i must admit they were quite difficult i sometimes wonder whether i should have painted but anyway um it is complete i haven't uh varnished it because i think i like the look as it is basically I don't know how many hours it's taken me because I've not even I've not monitored the time I've just done it whenever in between all the builds thanks for watching give a thumbs up and please subscribe bye for now